Now, let's talk about this terrible situation with Nigel Farage, uh, who revealed yesterday on his social media account um, that he's had his bank account closed and that he can't find anybody else to actually allow him to have a bank account. Yes, and this is absolutely factual. I've obviously been liaising with Nigel, yeah. and I know that he has been refused by a number of other banks, right. and that it is it is absolutely shocking. Mm. And the question is why? But, of course, I've had personal experience of this myself because right. about two years ago, I got a very similar letter as leader of uh, Reform right. UK from one Metro bank right. who uh, told me that we had to shut our... Uh, shut our bank, um, our account, and move everything away uh, within about 45 mm. days. And I actually did a press conference on this. I was so incensed. Right. I mean, I've been director, I've been involved in companies and dozens, dozens, if not hundreds of bank accounts right. and loans over a 30 year business period. Never once has a bank told me to shut my account mm. uh, and to remove everything within 48, 45 days. So I knew something was wrong. Yes. And Nigel is experiencing it personally and with his And he said effect. it's been going on for a couple of years, this whole kind of this saga. Is, this has been going on. He's felt the, uh, in a sense, the, 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 the net tightening. Mm. And it's very, very scary. It basically means you can't operate. Mm. And this is why, this is the direction of travel. And it's why something like a central bank digital currency type of approach yeah. is so dangerous. Right. This is a sort of social credit system. We're just going to gradually mm. constrain your ability to operate. And it's utterly appalling. Right. And he said in his video that he could see that he might be in that category, which is an EU category, apparently, of politically exposed person, who's somebody who might be considered yes, to be a risk which, uh, of, of a different kind. Is that is that what he thinks? And that's a real thing, because happened? I'm a politically exposed person. Mm. It means the banks have to tick all sorts of extra boxes right. in order to open and maintain an account. And it's really... I actually wrote to the Governor of Bank of England and said, this is wrong, we need to have a right. bank account of last resort. Yes. He acknowledged the uh, the email, uh, but then I never heard from him again. Two years later, Andrew, I'm still waiting. I'd okay. love to hear from you. OK. And what about Chris Bryant's role in all of this? Because he's been named by Nigel again as a guy who, in Parliament, using privilege, suggested or alleged that Nigel Farage was in receipt of money from Russia, um, which is an outrageous thing to it allege. It was an outrageous allegation. Uh, which, in, outside of, of Parliament, would be a libel, would be, you know, and, the subject and, to, to lawsuits. And Nigel asked him to make the same allegation yeah. outside Parliament so that he could sue him because it was completely false, mm. completely outrageous. Yeah. And, of course, Brian uh, had no evidence, mm. wasn't able to back it up, and so didn't repeat it outside Parliament. Right. That may well have had a uh, some form of... Uh, influence. Yeah, uh, I remember when I was called a money launderer. I know that um, the bank I use, right. it went all the way up to the main board. Is right. Tyson money launderer? Right. Of course it was. I sued the uh, uh, the member of um, the uh, the MS the SNP right. guy and won and got a donation to a charity because it was completely yeah. outrageous and yeah. it was libelous and he made it outside a, uh, a parliamentary right. chamber. Interesting. So what's the latest uh, from from the Farage so, situation? Not, Nigel, he is looking for a new bank account, yeah. and at the moment. Uh, as he said yesterday in his video, which has now been viewed 19 million times yeah, in 24 hours, uh, at the moment uh, he is uh, struggling to find a new account. It yeah. is absolutely appalling. It really is. It's dreadful, isn't it? Maybe you just have to start a new bank up. Well, there we are. There's you a know, thought. That could go. be the way to a new fortune. You know, it could be you know, the, the biggest crowd funder ever. But you just start your own bank. But the reason is you couldn't do that because, of course, the, the establishment, the Financial Conduct Authority, they wouldn't give you approval right. because they don't want this to happen. They don't want people of our political leaning and thinking Shocking, isn't to it? succeed and to be able to have a voice. They actually want to shut us down. This is what this is all about, right? It is about the shutting down of a particular side of the political spectrum, yeah. the political debate. Well,